Yeah. Maybe not all the way up, yeah. Do you yeah. want to turn it all the way? That's it. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, yeah, entirely, um, it's all good. No, from there, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> um, Emily, I thought to find the most resonant bit, like, you tend to make an enormous peak and then just listen to a really painful sound, and then just when you can hear it come out. I don't really want to do that here, just in case oh, okay, it's just like, like, yeah, you sort of Should we say that a little bit louder and then I shut everyone else? Um, is that right? Uh, right, guys, should we just uh, listen up? Um, Rue's just um, uh, talking about how you find a problem frequency. Sorry to put you on the spot there. <laughs> like, there's a kind of this little thing where you, you get in the EQ and you just, uh, so you set the Q. Oh, right, you want to do that again. Um, I'm not going to play it because it will really. Just, just, just hard, show. But just yes. Just show um, so, say <laughs> you had, so you want to find a frequency, so you max out the cues, it's really huge, and then just boost huge, so you've got a peak like that, and then you just sweep along, and you hear certain frequencies that just sound abrasive and painful, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then as soon as you hear them, just cut it, well, I, well, I tend to go about minus 15 or so. I, I tend to like, do that, but I might put it all out so I can hear, oh, that's mm. it's gone now. Yeah. And, it a more. and then in the same sort of right, if you have that on like, something like a kick, you've got like a really kind of like big resonant peak and you just cut that out and then you can sit the bass in it and if you, what well, I mean, I, I can't do it, but when you can sort of sit the bass sort of underneath the kick so you're not getting the bass cut out at all by the kick and it's always there sort of like just keeping everything sort of sitting on top of it and it sounds really even and smooth. Yeah, 
When, when yeah. you do that that boost when you're sweeping, just just do be careful you don't damage your ears. Yes. yes. You don't you don't need to necessarily boost it 24 dB. Yeah. Like, no, I know what you're doing, but do do be careful. Like just maybe take the volume down on the headphones. Yeah. So. But we've been, yeah, obviously it, it can be. It, once you start moving around the three, it gets pretty That's painful. Oh, and it's, if you use yeah. it, it's like you it's use, um, abrasive. Uh, upside down, Matt. Upside down. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is a challenge. Upside down, and then right a bit. Yes, down. You can actually see where they are a lot of the time. So you can see like the loudest bit of that kick is actually there. You could high pass some more of that. that Really low end out, like up to about 60 or something. Just with a high pass. Which is the bass sound? Is it a sub or down? Underneath? It's a sine wave. Is it? It's a sine wave. Oh, right, okay. It's on its own. That's it. Like so, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, that. Oh right, okay. Is that the is that the bass sound? Yeah, and then that's oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's, it's good, yeah. That's one. Uh, any other comments on, on that? Is that lower down? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. Um, no? Oh, round of applause for Dan.